Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, New East in the Western, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East St. Augustine. In the decades onward of the 1950s, the most important research problem in extreme-scale computational physics was the mathematical quest for efficient supercomputer algorithms for petroleum reservoirs models. Those supercomputer models were essential tools in discovering and recovering oil and gas that otherwise will be undiscoverable and unrecoverable. That unrecoverable oil and gas includes most of the oil and gas discovered at the Oloibiri oil field of the eastern region of Nigeria. The Oloibiri oil field was the first reserve of oil and gas to be discovered in West Africa. The Oloibiri oil field was discovered on January 15, 1956. The Oloibiri oil field started production in 1958, but it dried up 20 years later. That dried up oil field made it imperative for Nigeria to discover more oil fields. That dried up oil field made it imperative for Nigeria to recover the most oil and gas and recover it from its existing oil fields. In the 1950s, the preferred mathematical technique in petroleum reservoir simulation was to construct a petroleum reservoir model that's based on the alternating direction implicit finite difference method that reduced the governing system of coupled, nonlinear, and time dependent partial differential equations of calculus and reduced the system to a set of governing system of large-scale tridiagonal equations of algebra that approximated the source partial differential equations. With that 1950s method, every petroleum reservoir model became implicit. That implicitness made it physically impossible to solve the arising system of tridiagonal equations of algebra and to solve them by massively communicating in parallel and massively computing in parallel and massively solving many initial boundary value problems at once. A tridiagonal system of algebraic equations must be solved by sequentially computing only one thing at a time. It will be impossible to massively parallel process the tridiagonal systems of the 1950s, 60s, 70s, and even 80s petroleum reservoir models. It will be impossible to massively parallel process 65,536 petroleum reservoir models and that were each based on a tridiagonal system of algebraic equations. It will be impossible to synchronously email them as 65,536 problems and to simultaneously compute them and do both across 65,536 commodity processors. 
before 1989, the large scale algebraist was convinced that parallel processing is a huge waste of everybody's time. Insightful and brilliant lecture.